um, you know, I came into this this journey as a filmmaker, but also as a fan. So this is, and I've been to a couple of those premieres as a fan, and uh, this is surreal. It really is, and a very tight knit small family as well. You know, I work so closely with this, this little group of, um, of uh, in my team, and and it's just been so. You're free to fly, but if you fall, there's always someone to catch you. Yeah, we have we have never seen it with the crowd before, you know. And uh, again, it's 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 a crazy ride. This film, you know, with all these new characters, Celestials, learn about the origin of the MCU, you know, and to see the fan reaction is really satisfying. Um, well, you know, new characters, these new ten characters, and uh, uh, the origin of the MCU, the mythology of Celestials, but also. Maybe we get to ponder a little bit about some existential questions we've asked ourselves since the dawn of time. It's just great to be here. It's been so long since we've done anything like this live and in person. So it's just great and be able to catch up. Gemma Chan's a very good friend of mine, Kit Harrington I see down there. So it's been a while since I've been able to see my friends. So I'm looking forward to catching up with them. I'm just really excited to see it with an audience. It's very different. I've, I've only seen it once and that was by myself in the theater, which doesn't really have the same atmosphere as tonight's going to have. You know, I was shocked when I got out of the car and I saw all the people, all the fans dressed like the characters. I was not expecting that. And, and there was like a whole family, the mother and three daughters, little ones, they were all Ajax. I, I, I wanted to start crying because they're also Latino. Look, it, got, it gets me again. I was, it, I was not expecting. It was very emotional. <laughs> they, they really are. It was lovely. It, it, it gives you even more the sense of a family, you know, which, by the way, they manage to give you that sense on the set, which is not easy with such a big movie. And I really felt that we were a family. Oh, it's re really, really overwhelming. You know, I'm just so proud to be a part of this film and a part of the MCU. And, you know, been waiting a little while for people to see it. So I'm very, very, very excited that people finally get to see it. I know, they're like, you know, the Marvel fans, I think are probably some of the best fans. It's, uh, it's awesome because I just walked in and I saw so many people dressed up as characters from the movie. The movie's not even out yet, you know? So but that's how much they trust it. They know the movie's going to be awesome and they already love these characters, even though they haven't really, like, met them yet. So it's, it's been, it's really overwhelming. Uh, it's still surreal. I don't think I'll believe it until I actually see it on the screen tonight. When it's done, I'll be like, okay, I'm in the MCU because still, like, I see my picture up there with the thing and it feels, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe, you know, I, I love movie theaters. My favorite thing to do is go to movie theaters to be able to, to see myself in the MCU on a big screen with a crowd for the first time. It's... I mean, I, I didn't I didn't think I'd be able to sleep last night. You know, it's it's this whole week has been. I know it's Monday, but I mean, like since last week, it's been like I, I can't wait. And here it is. I mean, to be honest, I think for a lot of us, we uh, you included, we don't get out much these days. So just to be out doing anything is wonderful. Being out for something like this, I I really think this is a beautiful film. It's an exciting film, and I love this cast. And I'm so happy to come here tonight and see everybody and be together and it's nice. Ah, oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. They they they're with you. They're with you in it. They're a part of the the journey. They're a part of the Marvel universe. The fans are part of the Marvel universe. We're so it doesn't feel like we're across the barrier, right? It feels like we're in the same thing together and it's very exciting. I think it's still settling in. Right? I think you, you see the Lego doll and you see the sign and we're all here and I, it's, it's, I still, I think I'm, you know, it's, I've been in this business a long time. You don't get that excited by things and this is, this is special. So it's really this, this film, this family, this is the family I wanted to be a part of. So, oh yeah, yes, it's definitely a big, and, and I think these days there's a lot, there's, there's nothing that's better or worse about something on a big screen or a small screen, or but some things are made actually for a big screen and to be shared with an audience. And this is, this is one of those. You want to share it with the audience, you want to see it on the big screen, and then watch it again at home. But, but, that's, um, but these event films are, are fun like that, and, and, and especially when they're global and you can share them 
around the world, so it's very, very special. Well, it's been many years, and like so many of our releases this year, Eternals was, uh, was delayed, but uh, as I've been saying, uh, good things come to those who wait. And this one really, we've had a number of phase four projects come out this year. This really represents what we were working towards as we were finishing up Endgame. Chloe came in and pitched this story to us as we were doing the final touches on Endgame. And I was doing soul searching about the future of the MCU and where we take it. And Nate Moore, our producer on this movie, really had a belief in Jack Kirby's vision of Eternals in bringing it to the screen in a new way, in a unique way. We always wanted to do a movie that spanned millennia and focused on a character of immortals that have lived amongst us. And Eternals seemed like the greatest way to do that. And it was when Nate brought in Chloe that we really decided we have to make this movie. And I couldn't be more excited as I always am here staying on a carpet uh, for the world uh, to uh, see it. Chloe had a vision for this going back many years and a big aspect of that was IMAX, big giant screen with a crowd, shot on actual locations, an amazing mixture of visual effects and practical effects. And her vision is to be, for this to be seen as big as possible. And I'm about to see it on the biggest screen I've ever seen it on, with the biggest crowd I've ever seen it, and I can't wait. There, there, there are lots, as with all of the MCU movies, there are surprises, there are twists, there are things you should stay till the very end to see. What I'm most excited about, though, is the audience finally meeting these 10 Eternals that they've seen on posters around the world. They finally get to meet them in this movie, and we get to know all of them. And, uh, and I love people debating who their favorite is.